G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is how to work out the area of circles. Okay, so uh, this is the, the amount of um, space, I guess, enclosed by a circle. And so the way that we do this is as follows. I'll draw up a circle. And I think first off I'll just go through a few of the terms that we'll be using when we are looking at the area of circles. First off, we're going to be looking at this thing called the radius. The radius is the distance from the middle the edge which is the same no matter where you are okay so this is called the radius the radius and the other way we might measure a circle is to say in terms of this entire distance across which is called the diameter now the diameter as you probably can see here is twice that of the radius. Now the way that you work out the area of a circle is as follows. The area of a circle equals pi r squared. Now pi is a special constant that's used to work out circles. Um, generally it's equal to about 3.1415 um, but the easiest way and the most accurate way for you guys to use it is to actually get on your calculator. We're going to be multiplying that by the radius um, squared, by the radius times itself. So whatever this is, times itself and then times pi. So I'll put the calculator up off the, the computer. As you'll see, I've actually just got a, I've put it from standard mode into scientific mode. And we've got down here pi, okay? It's not on a lot of calculators, it will be written like this, but on this particular one, it's written as pi. And if we do that, uh, we actually end up with a really big long number, okay, 3.1415926, blah, 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 okay, it's big, uh, irrational string of numbers. So, we're going to use this to actually work out the area of a circle, that's pretty easy stuff. So, these are the types of questions that you'll get when you get asked to work out the area of a circle. So I'm going to leave that particular um, formula there, because we're going to be using that a lot. Let's say we had a circle here, and we wanted to work it out, and the radius here, we wanted to work at the area, the radius we know to be, um, get rid of that, the radius is 5 centimetres. So the area is what we want to know, the area, obviously the space within here, and we're going to be working it out in centimetres squared. Okay, so we had a radius in centimetres, our answer is going to come out in centimetres squared. So first off what we do is we're just going to sub in this formula. So this equals to pi times radius squared, which is 5 centimetres times 5 centimetres. And now we're just going to hit this into our calculator. Okay. So first off, let's go pi times 5 times 5, and we get the answer of 78 Point five four rounded up. Seventy eight point five four centimeters squared. That's how easy it is to work out the area of a circle. But it's really, really critical that you remember this particular formula here. Okay. So what about we go another one of these? Um, and, and what about you give it a go for working it out? So say you have I'll give you a one with a diameter this time. Remember, diameter is twice that of the radius, twice the size of the radius. So I'll, I'll draw a circle, and the one I want you to work out has a diameter, it's all the way across, of, uh, what about, 18 metres. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to work out the area. Now the area equals pi r squared. So this equals pi. So you might work this out. You pause this and, let, and then I'll come back and answer it. Hey, you pause it? Anyway, I'm answering it now. Times the radius. Now the radius is half the diameter, so times 9. Times 9. And these are both in metres. So our answer is going to be in metres squared. Okay? I can even fix that up right now. Just uh, so 9 metres times 9 metres. So the area to this equals as follows. Let's get the calculator up. We'll clear that. So pi times 9 times 9 equals 254.47. What was that? 254.47. I hope that. Better double check that. 254.47. Correct. Okay. And that's in metres squared. 
that's how easy it is to work at the area of a circle. Now the other type of thing you might get asked for this, of course, is you might get asked where it's actually a segment of the circle. Um, so say you are given a circle like as follows. Oh, I'm not going to get half a circle, that's what you're expecting. Say you actually were asked to work at the area of this quarter circle. And what you knew is only one thing, which is this distance here, which is six centimeters. So I want to know the area of this. This is a half. This is a quarter circle. Okay, that might not be a very good picture of one, but it's a quarter circle. So the area equals pi r squared. But because it's a quarter of a circle, which we want us to draw it, um, would look like this. There's our circle, and it's a quarter of it. We're going to actually divide our answer by four. Okay, so let's do this. Um, so this equals pi times the radius, which is six centimeters, times six centimeters because it's squared, divided by four. And we're just going to go in the order it is read. So let's just get our calculator out. Uh, we're going to go pi times six times six times. Uh, oop, clear. Start that again. Pi times six times six divided by four equals twenty-eight point two seven. Okay. So this equals twenty-eight point two seven centimeters squared. Now I just want to put this calculator up just to, to show you something really really uh, quickly with this and this is this. Say you decide okay I'm not going to use pi instead pi is a roundabout as you see 3.14159 and instead what you're going to use is 3.14 because this is the type of problems people get with this. I'll show you the difference that you get if you use pi or if you actually use this particular number here. It won't seem like much. So pi, three, instead of pi we're using 3.14 times 6 times 6 equals divided by 4 equals 28.26. Now you're going to say that's not actually much of a difference and it's not. In the scheme of things it's possibly not a huge difference. So this is if we use 3.14 we get 28.26. Just double check that. That's what we got centimeters squared. Now look that's only one one hundredth of a uh, that's one hundredth of a centimeter squared. It's not a huge amount. Just be wary uh, with certain applications we really really want to have this exact. In fact I think it's really really good policy that you shouldn't get this as an answer. I know it's very pedantic but you should be using pi the pi button okay. I know some calculators don't have pi so yeah, I know, you're sort of stuck there, okay? But try to get one that has pi. Anyway, that's how you can go working at the area of circles and possibly uh, quarter circles. Okay, see you next time.